when the seagulls follow the trawler, it's because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Thank you. <laughs> this guy is a genius. He's, and he's like most <laughs> geniuses, he's, he's on the edge. You know, it only takes a, a little bit to, to flip over. And the incident, I mean, you, you just don't do that. I mean, we, he says the same. I mean, the, the problem was he was a little bit because <laughs> he missed a guy the first time. Um, <laughs> so he had to go back again. <laughs> but when you look at what's gone on in the, in the last couple of years in football in this, in this country, with the, the drug thing and, and people taking bungs, allegedly, and <laughs> drugs and all that. And he's been slaughtered for kicking out at someone who really, you know, I would, I would have done the same thing, mm. to be quite honest. And when you look at the people who have been, been let off for, for drugs and, and stuff like that, and uh, I, I really think he, he's, he's got a great point, because I think he's, he's being crucified mm -hmm. uh, by the people who have got no idea what they're, what they're talking about. I don't know if you agree with this, but it seems to me as though when Paul Merson was involved in the cocaine incident, uh, the FA did nothing. George Graham said, we'll send you away for eight weeks to, to re rehabilitate, and the FA made no judgment. Um, with Cantona, he plays in a friendly, and they're investigating it. It seems to be like a double standard. When I think that Cantona is a genius, I think he's a wonderful player for the game, and I think it would be a tragedy if, he, if he's lost to the British game. And when they're punishing somebody for <laughs> jumping over the crowd and trying to kick some <laughs> from fucking row 16, I think you should get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>